The Surveyor has just come back from its first real operational mission, where we mapped over a thousand square miles of previously unmapped seabed. So we found two new features on the seabed. One we sort of knew were there, one we did not know was there. When I say features, these are not tall enough to be full sea mounts. They're actually technically called sea hills. This was an 800 meter high feature on the surface of the ocean that was previously undiscovered. We've just started to look at the data coming from the cell drone surveyor uh, after some initial tests and the data looks very, very high quality. And one uh, component of that high quality is the fact that when the sail drone surveyor is under sail, there's no motor noise. And on traditional vessels, the engines generate noise, which inevitably will degrade a uh, image. And so with the sail drone surveyor under sail, we have the opportunity to collect very, very clean data. Using the sail drone surveyor, it's a huge departure from how we normally do mapping. Normally a very large ship, very expensive, burns a lot of fuel. The surveyor can do the same thing at a fraction of the cost, a fraction of the fuel burn, and it's much safer, it's much more efficient, and it's much less dangerous to put people in, in harm's way in the ocean. The early returns from these test cases from the sail drone surveyor are proving that it can do everything we thought it could do. It's proving to us that the data can be as good as the data that we're getting from our ships that are crewed. That is a truly exciting thing. Previously, it's been impossible to map the ocean in a short period of time. There's not enough ships and they're just too expensive. Sail drone surveyor transforms that enables us to scale the platform, scale the numbers. With 20 surveyors, we can map the entire ocean in less than 10 years.